and it's not you. The Department of Homeland Security says that Chinese-made drones could be spying on you and then sending the information back to the Chinese government. Michael Pillsbury is author of the fantastic book, The Hundred Year Marathon, China's Secret Strategy to Replace America as the Global Superpower, and we're happy to have him on with us again tonight. Mr. Pillsbury, thanks a lot for joining us. So, is this a credible concern? Uh, yes, I think it is. What Homeland Security is pointing out is that these drones, and there's, by the way, there's up to 2 million now operating in the United States, 80% of which are made in China by basically one company. Uh, these drones all have hookups to the Internet, and they go to servers in China. So every time you operate a drone, whether it's to look around the pipeline or check your ranch and see where, how, where the cattle are, all that feed is going back to China. And with artificial intelligence, if the Chinese want to, they can assemble a picture of large parts of, of America, what's happening with uh, airline flights or uh, crops or uh, nuclear power reactors, anything they want. And Homeland Security is warning about this. Part of the problem, Tucker, is that this whole thing began with the U.S. government. Our army bought drones from China. Uh, the Army doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> they put out a memo to stop it two years ago. But the surveillance of the United States is really quite extraordinary. Back when we thought China was going to be a democracy and a free market just like us, nobody really cared about this sort of thing. But now that China is more in a hostile category, uh, I think people are very concerned correctly uh, with this massive surveillance of our country. If China can control the data coming off of these drones, it could control the drones themselves, presumably, if it wanted. They can hijack the drones, yes, that's technically possible. So why isn't this something that we should be really concerned about? Well, three congressmen, including Mark Meadows and Jim Jordan, have written to Homeland Security already, asking for more details of how widespread this has gone. It's not clear to me that we actually know how China is using this data. Uh, and a bit of a humor from China. The company is called DJI. Uh, it's, by the way, it's right down the street from Huawei in, in, in a town called Shenzhen near Hong Kong. DJI has announced, well, anybody who doesn't want to participate in this program can just turn off the Internet connection and not send the data to China. So that's the, that's the first Chinese response. <laughs> Uh-huh. Just like you can do it on your iPhone, except, oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the controls are fake. So the, the data is going back to HQ whether you like it or not. And, of course, that's going to be true with the drones as well. So how much, just quickly, an overview here. Uh, yeah. If drones are a concern, I mean, how much technology in this country is made by and therefore controlled by China? Oh, well, no one, no one seems to have an exact count. As I say, nobody cared in the era of peaceful... Uh, wishful thinking about China. But uh, Huawei, if they get control of our 5G, they've already got a very extensive share of our rural network in, in Wi-Fi connections. A lot of rural America is put together by a Chinese, one single Chinese company. They also can take that data to China and analyze it. So this whole problem of the surveillance of people, I think, first began to come to everybody's attention when the Chinese were doing it to their own people, the Muslims out in Xinjiang, two million of them in sort of concentration camps. And this uh, facial recognition feature that you can analyze anybody anywhere in a city in China, let's say, by a camera looking down, you can see that face, get its background, get its social, what they call social credit score, and combine that with drone pictures, other things that happen elsewhere in the world. So if someone just types in Tucker Carlson in China, a massive amount of information about you can come out. Now what they do with that, maybe they want to send you a Christmas card and be friendly, yeah. or maybe they have no <laughs> Or maybe not. <laughs> right. Maybe I, not. Th I think that the message is it's, it's impossible to be too paranoid. Dr. Pillsbury, thank you for making us more paranoid. Just <laughs> Not my intention. <laughs> Thanks, Tucker.